Hello world, this is Cooper Johnson from Gridspace, where I am the voice user experience designer or conversation designer, whichever you prefer. I work very, very closely with Gridspace's AI virtual voice agent, Grace. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about how Grace is a natural at lead qualification. Lead qualification is broadly a category that we're seeing huge interest um, in employing Grace in because uh, there's a lot of sales outreach, sales oriented outreach out there that needs to happen. Uh, and Grace is, well, if you're watching this video, you probably know what lead qualification is, but let's just recap it a little bit, especially as it pertains to Grace. Through some channel, people out there are identifying themselves as leads for your company. They either to buy something from you, do some kind of business with you. They identify as leads. You have this bucket of leads that you need to contact because you never want to miss a sales opportunity. But it's also, this is the real world. A lot of those potential leads are probably going to be, you know, people that were clicking through the website, people that were daydreaming or, you know, people that thought they might be relocating to an area and would need to obtain housing. But uh, all of a sudden they turn down the job offer and they no longer need to uh, no longer need to find a house in your market. So separating the people who want to buy now are super motivated and putting other people in the cat into kind of the near future buckets or the not right now, maybe someday buckets. That's what Grace is really good at. And why is Grace good at it? Because for one, Grace never sleeps. <laughs> she can do this anytime you want her to. Um, and Grace can make a lot of concurrent calls, which means that Grace can be having this lead qualification conversation with a lot of people simultaneously. Um, and that way she can grind through contacting and qualifying um, everyone on your list, whether that's a small number of people and you're doing this kind of daily, or whether you owe a lot of people a call, uh, calls maybe, or you got swamped, swamped by interest all of a sudden and you need to call several hundred people. Grace can do outbound calling campaigns to all of these people uh, and qualify them as leads. So before I give you a little demo of what talking to Grace in a lead qualification conversation looks like, let's look at the playbook for that kind of this kind of task. And the playbook uh, is the definition of the job that we want Grace to do. You can think of it as a flowchart, a decision tree. It's basically if this, then that. Uh, telling Grace what to say, what to ask of people, um, and in this case. Um, with the ultimate goal of qualifying them as leads. So you can see at the beginning here, we have a greeting. Um, since this is an outbound call, Grace needs to move quickly and identify herself and the company she works with. And then she'll, uh, she'll name drop the lead, which goes a long way towards proving um, that she's trustworthy. Calling to follow up uh, with the full name and by speaking with first name. And if she's reached the right person, she'll quickly give some context for what this call is again to, you know, Put people at ease, establish some trust. But the upshot is that Grace is calling this person because this person self-identified as a lead um, on the company's website. Now Grace is doing uh, follow-up due diligence. Uh, and a critical juncture here in the playbook is where Grace actually asks, cuts right to the chase, asks uh, basically what the person's time, what their urgency is for buying a, a car in this case. Are you actively looking for a new car truck right now or are you just seeing what's out there and based on the answer we'll sort people either as a hot warm or cold lead which you could customize based on uh, based on however you uh, rate leads within your organization but let's say the person is super motivated to buy a car or truck uh, like this weekend uh old one broke down but they can't uh, not have a car so we'll go up to this uh, page called hot lead survey where we could ask a number of questions but in this case we'll just ask um, prior to transferring to sales um, to give sales an extra piece of information to start with. Is there a particular make, model, or category of vehicle you're looking for? And the person can say whatever they want there. You know, no is an acceptable answer. That's useful data to sales departments. Um, but at the end of that, um, warm and hot leads uh, can be transferred. Wherever you draw the, the line for handing off to a human being, um, they'll be transferred to a human by Grace. Grace will politely announce that she's going to transfer to a human being in the sales department. Her job here is done. Um, and then that's it. The information Grace has collected will be available to whoever uh, the call gets transferred to. So they're not started from nothing. Um, they can know a little bit about the customer who's coming in. Grace has already qualified them as a hot lead. So we're off to the races. Okay, 
So that's the general structure of a lead qualification playbook. And I think it's high time that I had a little conversation with Grace myself as a demo of lead qualification. So let's do a coaching session. Hey, this is Grace from Harper Valley Motors. I'm calling to follow up with Cooper Johnson. Am I speaking with Cooper? Yes, you are speaking with Cooper. Mm -hmm. Great. Once again, my name is Grace. I'm an AI agent with the Harper Valley Motors team. I'm calling because you visited our website and told us you might be looking for a vehicle. Are you actively looking for a new car or truck right now or just seeing what's out there? Um, just kind of checking things out right now, but I might be in the market like, you know, before the end of the year. That's great. We absolutely want to get you into the car or trust that's perfect for you. If you have just a moment, I'd love to ask what you would be looking for if you were looking for a vehicle right now. Is there a particular model, make, or category of vehicle that you're most interested in? Uh, I got to be honest, for their reliability and affordability, I am mostly into the Japanese brands. Mm hmm And what are two of the three things that are most important to you in a car or truck? Um, probably in this order, safety, low lifetime maintenance cost, uh -huh. and high efficiency. Uh-huh. I do understand you're not looking for a new car or truck right away, but I'd be happy to transfer your call to a member of our sales staff right now just to chat about possibility. No pressure at all. Would you like for me to transfer your call right now? Uh, you know what? I'm in a good mood and I don't have much going on this afternoon. Yeah, send me over to one of your people. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. I'm going to hand you off to my colleague who can answer all of your questions if they aren't available. Feel free to leave a voicemail and they will get back to you. Have a great day. Okay, cool. So this is where I would be transferred uh, to the sales department. Maybe one specific person or, you know, automatic routing to, you know, whoever picks up first. But Grace has qualified me as a warm lead and managed to get me um, actually talking to someone. Maybe I'll be a hot lead by the end of that conversation. That's what Grace does. And just to recap, Grace can call uh, any number of potential leads. Uh, she doesn't sleep and she can make a lot of concurrent calls. So saving your sales department a lot of time. Grace can uh, go through the leads um, and perhaps most importantly, rule out anyone who's just like, yeah, I was just goofing around, clicking through websites, playing what if. I have no intention of buying from you or any other company. Sorting that out can save a lot of time. And also, uh, Grace, is, uh, Grace is very polite all the time. So your hot leads and your warm leads are going to be in good hands uh, before Grace sends them on, on up to your human salespeople. All right. See you later.